We have a little bit of a challenge today. We are gonna go to the thrift store. Jamie has a $20 budget, I have a $20 budget. We're gonna see what we can find and how much we can make off of $20 at the thrift store. When we got to the thrift store, I went right to the yard area. I kinda had an idea of what I wanted to do and I was hoping that they had a little something like this little side table right here or dresser, whatever you wanna call it. And then I picked up this urn right off the bat. I'm at $18. So I'm looking for something. The idea in my mind was I was going to make some sort of like wash stand out of it. Maybe get a little basin, uh, have a little dish for soaps. But I just couldn't find that. I was trying too hard to find it. I got distracted by urns and all the other stuff that we normally would pick up. It was a lot of stuff that I was like, oh, great deals. Jamie actually ended up coming home with a couple of these things that I passed up because she was buying all the little small things while I blew my budget with one big item right off the top. I was going to use this for a soap dish and then I decided not to because Jamie's like, poinsettias, really? Really? It's summertime almost. At this point here, I got distracted by the lid that I found and here I go making a uh, thrift store glass marriage as we like to call it. That would have been $1.75, but I didn't like it, so <laughs> I tried it on several different jars. I actually ended up putting on this jar. I didn't use it for the challenge, but I couldn't leave it at the thrift store. I did buy the jar with the lid. I was going to do linens, too. I was thinking maybe some sort of like hand towel or something on the top. Right now, I had $2 left to spend still and just was not finding anything I wanted. So now I'm the one here at the thrift store trying to find a match. I need a plate for this. I like this one on the top, but is that too big? Jamie suggested just doing like a little nightstand situation with a lamp. So I decided to do that. All right, so my strategy is to buy low. That's the strategy. So I got to find things that are around a buck. Oh, 75 cents. All right, that one works. Okay, this one is $2, but so cute. Gotta get it. So far I've spent uh, $2.75. Let's see how far 20 bucks goes. <laughs> Clearly Zeb uh, is going for the big spender here. This oh. is 15, oh. and that's three. So big, I got three bucks left, two bucks Big left. spender. Two bucks I've left. spent $2 and 75 cents because I feel like there's like, a, if I spend too much, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna miss something. So for our $20 challenge, I went with small items that just need a little bit of upcycling. And Zeb went with two large items that need a decent amount of work. Well, I found this and I just couldn't leave it at the thrift store. We passed up a lot of things that we normally would have purchased, but we're like, all right, we're just gonna stick with the $20 budget. We did end up buying a couch for the playroom, but that was separate. We're not counting that. Or the storage shelves that we bought for the church, but that's another story. <laughs> for my $20, this side table slash end table was 15. It's solid wood. And then this lamp that I got to go on the top of it was five. I have this separated out in what I'm going to not paint and what needs a little bit of upcycling. So we've got $2 for this dish, $2 for this spice organizer, $1.50 for each of these little stem bases, $1.50 for the cream dish. This is a marriage, so I have a $1 plate with a ruffle edge and then a $1.50 cloche. 75 cents for this cute creamer and then only a dollar for this tarnished silver dish. And this side we have $2 for this paint can. $2 for this basket, and then $1 for this can, and $1 for each of these crates. So I didn't spend over $2 for any of my items. We are gonna time ourselves. We have an hour each to get these finished, and whatever they are at the end of an hour, that's how the flip will be. So here we go. Time has started, I gotta go. Bye. It's gonna take me longer to get the tape off than anything. <laughs> I took my large piece outside. I'm gonna sand the top and bleach it, but I had to do a couple repairs. This trim was falling off, so I just did a little bit of glue and nailed it down. I'm using 100 grit sandpaper. I don't think this was sealed before or stained. It just had some age on it. Stickers. So I'm mixing up milk paint. I've got zinc in here, one part milk paint, one part water. I probably should put less water in here because I need it thick. I'm gonna add salt wash to this and paint my can. It's gonna make them look like old paint buckets. So I've gotta get a dark color on here, then I'll go light, then I'll drip some white. 
looking at over there? I'm looking at my paint bucket. Oh. I can see my inspiration. I'm like, what are you looking at? <laughs> so I'm going to throw in some salt wash here to thicken this up and for texture. And it's really going to help hold on to this metal shiny paint bucket situation. So this is going to be pretty thin because I mixed it with milk paint and this is all the salt wash that I have. Okay, this one actually has measurements on the side, which really alludes to the whole paint bucket situation. And I'm just going to get this on, <laughs> on here to add some texture. All right, you don't think prep takes very long, but we're at 15 minutes and Jamie's barely starting to paint. Well, I had to take tape off of things. <laughs> and bunnies. And I had to sand. I didn't have the sander out before. So this is mint chip and DIY. I'm going to go with a lighter color on this. I do have some bohemian blue, which is a very dark blue, but I'm going to wash over the top. I'm going to put this on while it's wet. I'm going to blend over the bohemian blue with the bohemian blue, and then I'm going to give it a wash and distress some of those highlights out because the mint chip will show really nice and bright underneath that boho blue. And I'm kind of painting the inside of my bucket because I don't want any of this shiny situation to be shown because old paint buckets are not shiny. And then I'll probably do a similar wash on this shade. We'll see how that goes because it's kind of like a fake leather shade. I'm going to let my lamp dry for a minute before I go ahead and put the bohemian blue on there. And while I'm doing that, we're going to start getting the bleach going on the wood on that side table outside. So this is just regular household bleach. It's 100%. I'm just going to spray it on this top and we're going to let it sit in the sun and dry out. So I wound up stenciling with the salt wash mix because that is the only dark color we had. Luckily for me, it turned out just fine and it's going to last a really long time. It's rock solid. Because I was in a time crunch, I specifically bought these because I love the dark olive color. I'm just giving them a little bit of distress with 220 grit sandpaper and then they'll be ready for me to add a stencil to. This is the second coat of bleach, just spraying it down. It is getting lighter already. I'm using the JRV Croc Mini Stencil and White Swan. It looks a little gray, but that's just because there was gray paint left over on the stencil. We've only got 23 minutes left. So it's time to get really cracking on the finish work. I feel like Jamie's are gonna turn out better than mine. I don't know that that bleaching is gonna do much in an hour. <laughs> so I'm gonna dip my brush in the water and then I'm gonna grab a little bit of this Bohemian Blue because I want it to be a little washy on here and it also help it dry faster since I don't have a lot of time. I'm hoping in about 10 minutes I can go put one more coat of bleach on that dresser out there. I've got two coats on it right now. An hour goes by way faster than I anticipated. We had 20 minutes left at this point and I was still dealing with really wet paint and had a couple more coats to do on my lamp so shade. I'm just doing paint. So I'm just doing paint drips. The way I like to do paint drips over the edge is to scrape the paint off my brush and wherever it falls, let it fall. 50 minutes. 15 minutes. Does it have to, to be dry or can it just be done? I, I don't know. Are we going to wax? Like, what are we including? Well, in I this? don't have to wax this because it's a paint bucket, so it has to have paint on it. I probably need to wax my lamp. Yeah, yours need, you have finishing stuff to do. I have nine minutes. Nine okay. minutes? Nine minutes, Zeb. Oh, is this, did you get me a heat gun? I just, I didn't have time to wait, so I got my own. Even though Jamie had a lot more projects than I did, I was really hustling to get all this. I was really hustling to finish my one layered paint lamp and bleach the end table outside. She can see her, she's over there casually putting on paint drips on her buckets that she's got. But you know, that's, that's the price you pay for a layered paint finish in an hour. Okay, so I'm just using the hot glue gun to tack this into place. And then I will use liquid patina to patina it to the basket. 59 minutes. Ah, I don't know where the liquid patina went. Are you I sure? have no idea. I didn't sabotage you. How many minutes? We have, you got like 50 seconds left. Oh dear goodness. I've got to have liquid patina or that's just going to be like that. We'll just grab it. I just don't know. Oh, here it is. Here it is. All right. Phew. I have 30 seconds to finish this. 
it's just gonna decoupage this to the basket. And this will also seal the paint so it doesn't come off. Is your dresser even in? Oh uh, yeah, I just gotta go grab it. Oh, we're at a minute right now. All right. Or an hour, I mean. I'm done. Okay, I'm walk away, walk away. I just have to wipe the edge. I'm gonna go okay, grab my project. I'm not gonna do any more bleach coats. All right, done. All right, we didn't cheat at this point. We're still at an hour. I am gonna take about five, maybe 10 minutes. I'm gonna do some Sweet Pickens white oil wax on the dresser, the little nightstand. And I'm gonna wax my lamp so that it's nice and cured and wipeable so you can get the dust off of it good. I will get individual staged pictures of everything because I have to list them at jamierayvintage.com and then we'll give it two weeks and whoever has made the most amount of profit from their $20 in their one hour will be the winner of this challenge. So we'll get back to you and let you know. All said and done, we use a few different colors, but I would wager we probably didn't go over $10 in supplies between the scrap drop cloth and the few ounces of paint that we used. I think it turned out pretty great. If you want to buy your own paint products for your own flips, hit up jamierayvintage.com. Zeb will put a detailed list below for each of the projects. I know it was super crazy, but we didn't have time to stop because we only had an hour. So we just did the best we could at filming. And if you like these kinds of videos, comment and let us know. Do you like challenge videos? And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up share it out and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. This is Sweet Pickens White Oil Wax. I cheated, the hour is up, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. This is the same sealer that we used on our island, the countertops, and the floors throughout the addition of our house.